templates are uh, the concept is that you have a class or a function that works for it's sort of parameterized by the type of data it's working on. So it works for uh, any type. So for example, you could have um, uh, in terms of function, you could have like a min or a max function uh, that works on any data type. Like ints, floats, strings, some other type that you can compare to of. Um, or you could have like an implementation of a list that can store any type of data within the list. Uh, and it just works. Uh, and all those actually examples are built into the standard library. And I'm not going to show you how to create your own templates. That's a later discussion because that's um, the syntax can get fairly complicated. But I will uh, show how to use some of the ones that are built into the standard library. Yeah. So generally, how it works is you have the name of the template. Uh, so let me use vector as an example. Vector. Vector is a type in the standard library. It's a template type that uh, is equivalent to the array list in Java, for example. So it stores, um, it's an array it's stored uh, not directly in the type, it's on the heap, and it'll automatically grow or shrink as you add more developments. You don't need to worry about checking the length and allocating your memory and copying stuff over it. It handles all that for you. So if you want a, bit, a vector of hints, That's how we can declare work. We also have a vector of, say, int pointers. We also have a vector of, I don't know, this like A, if A is some custom type we have, or a pointer to A. Um, basically, any type, you can just throw it in there. And then, in this case, we could do V, like, at index 7, dot, Foo, if foo is a function inside, or a method in A. Make sense? Uh, there's a, another uh, type of very simple, or a similar interface called list, which is a linked list implementation. So if you decide your application of it, it would make more sense with a uh, linked list. And there's also that. There's map, which takes two types. So something like that. Um, map, which uh, is a hash map, so um, maps values of A to B, so you can pass some thing of type A in here, and uh, it would uh, look up the value of the map at A, uh, and this returns a reference to the equivalent B that's stored under that key. Uh, that's most often used, or very often used with String is the first time. So you can have strings mapping to something. I've also used it um, with, say, a pair of numbers or something like that. There's also a standard library header called algorithms, which just has a bunch of algorithms like sorts, uh, searches, um, given like a, a vector. Uh, you can, a vector list or any other container type, you can um, copy all the values to another vector, uh, copy all the values to another vector if they pass a certain condition, um, copy all the values to another vector, putting them through some transformation function, uh, like find the first value that matches a certain condition, check if any of the values match, check if all the values match a certain condition, stuff like that. Uh, so it's a very useful function. All right, uh, useful library. A um, couple more standard library ones I wanted to show you are is uh, two very useful ones called Share Pointer and Unique Pointer. Um, and how they work is um, so Share Pointer. Um, So you can use that like it's a pointer to type A. So uh, it provides like you can do A arrow foo. You can dereference it to get a reference to the internal A. But when you make a copy, when you make a copy of that pointer, so for example, if you do like 
share, I can type the whole thing, B equals A. I know that I think next time I'm going to go more into like the whole what happens when you make a copy of an object. When you make a copy of that, it will, um, it has an internal reference camera. So it keeps track of how many copies of that you put in there are and it increments it. And when you, when one copy gets destroyed, it decrements it. And when, um, and when the last copy gets destroyed, it deletes the object that it points to. So that means that you don't need to worry about uh, accidentally forgetting to delete a pointer. If you just, uh, that you're passing around to different places and, oh, what if I delete it, but some other function still holds a copy of it, if you're using a shared pointer, uh, it keeps track of how many copies there are for you and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Uh, this unique pointer I mentioned, which is the same as shared pointer, except that it just doesn't let you make a copy of it. It's a compiler error if you try to make a copy of it. So, um, you don't accidentally leave a copy of the pointer somewhere because you can't make a copy of it. And uh, when it goes out of scope, it deletes it. Uh, and the last one I wanted to mention is initialize a list, which also has some special syntax uh, related to it. So, when you create a change this back to vector, vector of, should I do an array set? I'm going to make that legible, vector of ints. I can directly initialize that to a bunch of Numbers. How that works is this has a constructor of type, uh, or a constructor that takes one parameter of type initializer list in, which then it can loop over all the values in the initializer list. And th this syntax. Um, or specifically just being able to pass a whole but like as many of a certain type, uh, uh, as many values of a certain type as you want in, and that just working as a constructor only works if you have a matching uh, constructor on the type that takes one parameter of type, initializes a list of whatever type of values that can be passed in. And then the, that constructor loops over that initializer list and copies all the values to um, to its internal event.